and welcome to a new video. As often, FL Studio does things a bit different than other doors. And sometimes a user should follow some rules to avoid any trouble. Staying organized, especially when it comes to audio files, is one of them. Not at least as there were changes after it turned out that the initial idea how the program saves recorded and edited audio doesn't work that well and carries some risks. Let's look first at the default way how FL Studio deals originally with this issue. To record audio into the timeline, I have to make an audio track. In the assigned mixer track, I activate my input. Let's enable loop recording, the range I've already set, and hit record. I want to record into the playlist and choose the second option. This is the name FL Studio gave my new file and locate in browser brings me to the place FL Studio saved it. It put the recorded files all into a FL Studio system folder called recorded. Makes sense, doesn't it? So far, so good. But recording isn't all where the program needs to save audio files. There is for example consolidating. This file FL Studio put into its system folder rendered. Makes sense as well. What about drag selections? I open the file in Edison and even without making any changes, I drag it back to the timeline. This file landed in the system folder sliced audio. Makes less sense, but anyway. The same happens when using new tone or time warping. Every file FL Studio thinks it has to be saved because of being edited is placed into sliced audio by default. I'm not a big fan of having to live with my folders being divided into several subcategories and because of that different folders. But this is not the main problem. The main problem is this. If I do the same steps in a different project, the files are placed into the same folders. Just with a different project name in the beginning of the file name. As long as you do not tell the program something else, it will continue to collect all your files in the same default places for all of your projects. I think you can easily imagine how fast such a general folder can grow into a huge unmanageable chaos with hundreds if not thousands of files. And how easy it can happen that you delete by accident the wrong files which then are missing in other projects. Don't fall into this trap. There's a much better way and you should get used to the alternative as soon as possible. Whenever you want to start a new project, after loading the template you like to use, before you do anything else, go to Options and Project General Settings. Click on the folder icon of the Data Folder section, which brings you into the Projects folder in your user library, wherever it is located on your system. Create a new folder and name it to whatever you like. Confirm your choice. FL Studio now asks if you want to save this new project inside of this folder and you definitely want that too. The project file gets now saved in the same project data folder. Let's record a bit into this new project and have a look where these files are stored now. You guessed it already. Under My Projects appear now a folder we have created before, where all the newly created files are neatly saved together. Our project file and the recorded audio. As soon as you have created such a data folder for your project, no matter what you do, the saved files go into this folder. New saved versions of your project, all recordings, consolidations, and edited audio when dragging it to anywhere in FL Studio. If you do the same steps for other projects, there is no mask collecting anymore. Every data folder contains just the files for the project to which they belong. A 
and a very nice side effect? If it happens that you want to save plugin presets, especially for this song, you have already created the right place for them. Just drag and drop the save preset as to the data folder and everything is well organized in a single folder. From this day on, stay organized and start every new project by creating a project data folder and save the project inside after having done so. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.